doing some weeding in one of my gardens and I was pulling some perella out which is a Korean mint and I wanted to show this off because this is a great example of rhizomorphic growth and a mycorrhizal association. So what that means is fungi networks like mycelium, like we have some down here, it will actually connect itself to the roots of plants. And what that'll do is via electrical impulses determine whether or not a plant is deficient in water, nutrients, sugars, things like that. And the mycelial networks, these white strands, will actually transport those items and help provide for the plant. In return, the plant will provide sugar exudates which will help improve the soil and feed the soil microbiology. Which is one of the reasons why it's so important to inoculate your soil with wood chips. Here we've got a really good example of mycelium. Ordinarily, I wouldn't disturb the soil like this because these are basically highways for the soil. It's like a city down there. And I've layered it with wood chips and you can see really everywhere, even more so in this area, I, I've inoculated it with wood eating fungi like oysters, which are edible and delicious. So it goes from this to this to the kitchen. So a lot of this fungal stuff is what we do for clients. We inoculate logs, boom, you've got food.